may batas. Bawal lumabas. Pero pag sinabing, pag nagkumpay ka na bawal lumabas, may ginawa ka sa pinagbabawal nila. Inayos mo yung lo ng classroom niya. At sinagmit mo ulit, ay, pwede ka na pala lumabas. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Kim Cho, hindi ko talaga magets yung point mo. Ang hirap intindihin. Totoo na sa classroom may batas. Kahit sa Sir Dude's classroom ay merong batas. At yan ang batas ng exponent. O sa English ay laws of exponent. At yan ang i-discuss natin mamaya. Tara, samahan niyo ako. Welcome to Sir Dude's Classroom. Kung ngayon ka lang nadalaw sa channel na ito o hindi ka pa isang subscriber, ano pang inaantay mo? I-click mo na ang subscribe button sa baba o kaya yung nakikita mo na subscribe now sa screen, pwede mong i-click yan para maging isa kang subscriber ng channel na ito. to the zero power is equal to 1. So any number, any quantity, any expression, any variable raised to the zero power, the value is 1. So 2 to the zero power is equal to 1. 2 to the first power is equal to 2. 2 squared is equal to 4. 2 cube is equal to 8. 2 cube is not equal to 2 times 3. So it is not equal to 6. It is equal to 8 because 2 cube is equal to 2 times 2 times 2. 2 to the fourth power is equal to 16. 2 to the fifth power is equal to 32. 2 to the 6th power is equal to 64. 2 to the 7th power is equal to 128. 2 to the 8th power is equal to 256. And 2 to the 9th power is equal to 512. We will use the power of 2 to derive some of the laws of exponents. So our topic for today is about laws of exponents. So we will derive first the first law. So we will use these values to derive the first law. So 2 cubed times 2 to the fourth power is equal to what? So 2 cubed is equal to 8. And 2 to the fourth power is equal to 16. And 8 times 16 is equal to 128. So 2 cubed times 2 to the fourth power is equal to 128. Since 128 is equal to 2 to the 7th power, makikita natin yan sa table sa kabila, yung power of 2's. 
128 is equal to 2 to the 7 power. Instead of 128, we will replace it with 2 to the 7 power. So, so 2 cubed times 2 to the 4th power is equal to 2 to the 7th power. Now, pansin ninyo, uh, yung 7 na exponent ng product, saan nang galing? Based doon sa given. No? So, makikita natin na inad lang yung dalawang exponents. Yung 3 and 4. So, 2 cubed times 2 to the 4th power, just copy the base, which is 2, then add the exponents. So, ayan. Kaya mag 2 cubed times 2 to the 4th power is equal to 2 raised to the 3 plus 4 power, and this is equal to 2 to the 7th power. And the simplified answer is 128. So we can derive the first law here uh, in this example. So the first law is a raised to the m power times a raised to the n power. So just copy the base a, then add the exponents. So, a raised to the m plus n power. So, this is the first loss of exponents. a raised to the m power times a raised to the n power is equal to a raised to the m plus n power. And this law of exponents is called the product rule. No? Ang tawag dito is the product rule. Dito tayo nag-a-add ng exponent sa product rule. No? Remember, nung nag-add tayo ng polynomials, sinabi ko just add the numerical coefficients, copy the variable, and copy the exponents. Hindi ina-add ang exponents sa addition of polynomials Dito tayo nag add sa product rule. Example number 1. x to the 4th power times x to the 5th power is equal to what? So just copy the base. Pareho yung base. Pareho yung x. So just copy the base. Then add the exponents. So 4 plus 5. So the final answer is x raised to the 9th power. And don't forget to box or encircle your final answer. Example number 2. Quantity x minus y cubed times the quantity x minus y square is equal to what? So, pareho yung base. The base is x, quantity x minus y. So, just copy it. Quantity x minus y. Then, add the exponents. 3 plus 2. And then, simplify the base is quantity x minus y, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So this is the final answer. Example number 3. n to the 6th power times n squared times n. So just copy the base. And add the exponents, 6 plus 2 plus 1. Remember the exponent of the last factor, n, 
Walang naka-indicate, so understood no one. So, merong invisible one. So, the, ex the exponents are 6, 2, and 1. So, 6 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 9. So, the final answer is n to the 9th power. Box or in circle, the final answer. Those are the examples of the product rule, which is the first law of exponents. Now, we will derive the second law based on the values of the power of 2. Ang values ng power of 2. So, example... 2 cube squared. So 2 cube squared. So we can see on the table that 2 cube is equal to 8. So we will replace 2 cube with 8. Then e square natin siya. And then 8 times 8 is equal to 64. So, this is equal to 64. So, based on the table, tignan natin, hanapin natin si 64. Ayun, si 64. The value of 64 to the power of 2 is 2 to the 6th power. So, 64 is equal to 2 to the 6th power power. So, we will we will replace 64 with 2 to the 6th power. So, 2 cube squared is equal to 2 to the 6th power. So, pansin niyo based sa given, paano kaya lumabas yung 6? I-analyze nyo saan galing yung 6. Yung given ay 2 cube squared. Okay. So, makikita natin sa given na yung exponents, yung dalawang exponents, minultiply natin. So, 3 times 2. So, copy lang si base and multiply the exponents which are 3 and 2. So, this is equal to 2 raised to the 3 times 2 power. And this is equal to 2 to the 6 power, which is equal to 64. So, we can derive the second law on based on this example. So, the second law states that a raised to the n power and raised to another power of n. So this is equal to a raised to the m times n power. The second loss of exponents states that a raised to the m power raised to another power of n. This is equal to a raised to the m power times n power. This loss of exponents is what we call the, the power rule. Example, Example number, number one. one. X raised to the seventh power raised to another power of four. Or X raised to the seventh power raised to the fourth power. So all you have to do is Copy the base and multiply the exponents. So, 7 times 4. And 7 times 4 is equal to 28. So, the final answer is x to the 28th power. And don't forget to box or encircle your final answer. Ex 
multiply the exponents 3 and 5. So, y to the 3 times 5 power. And this is equal to y to the 15th power. And don't forget to box or encircle your final answer. Example number 3. Quantity m plus n squared to the fourth power. So the base is quantity m plus n and the exponents are 2 and 4. So just copy the base quantity m plus n then multiply the exponents 2 times 4. So, quantity m plus n to the 8th power. So, this is the final answer. Don't forget to box the final answer. So, those are the three examples of uh, the power rule. The second laws of exponents. So, meron pa tayong natitirang mga laws, pero i-discuss ko yan some other time. No? So, two at a time lang. Kasi pag sabay-sabay na, medyo nakakalito. So, kailangan ma-master nyo muna ito bago, bago ko i-discuss ang susunod na mga laws of exponents. That is That's all for all today, today mga ka-classroom. Thank you Thank for you bearing with me and watching, watching this video. video. This is Sir Dutch 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 saying, saying, always, always do, do what is what right, right. Because, because you can, you never, can never be wrong, be wrong in doing, doing what is right. right. Goodbye! Bye. Bye.